beginning, there's some things. Um, these are rolling broken chords, you know, they have a contour that's very curvy. And also you want to think that the piano is clay so that you like sculpt these things a little more because they can get very sort of top of the key sound like this. But, but they don't have any density when you just do this, right? They kind of go flat. And you have to, mm -hmm. what does this really represent? This figure is telling you to roll into it and get into the depths of the keys. Let me show you just this beginning idea because this is flowing through the whole piece in one form or another. So here's what I do. Roll into the, roll into, break these, what you did. But then this is done. Now start again. So you see what I did? I went, I resolved it, and then I started the roll in again, like the beginning. So could you try that idea? So let's do this much slower, watch. Roll into the, roll into, tonic, dominant, finish. Again, second time, boom, boom. Okay, so you're doing this. Now you're done. Now you lift your hand and you start the roll in again. That started the piece. You have two a pair of roll ins, right? This belongs. Yeah. This is done. You have to lift your hand and start again on that second measure. the rolling in contour and applying some weight transfer or else it starts to sound very flat we know we know that we're going tonic dominant tonic, dominant tonic dominant tonic you have to do something with that now now you're doing kind of an upside down motion you're coming down instead of going up right now you're going up there. Okay, let's go to the next phrase, but slower. Let's not play fast. Okay. Now this one has a crescendo, I agree. Ba, ba, there. That's an agogic accent. It's agogic because that's a longer note surrounded by shorter notes. It simply means that the note is going to come out, or it must come out, because it's surrounded by faster notes. But you don't want to uh, go speedily into that note. You want to swell that note out. The F at the end of measure three? So all the way at the top that's tied over is suddenly a long note in the midst of either side faster notes. Yeah, because you can see it's an eighth tied over to another note. So when you're coming down, what is the me melodic thread going through? Think of some kind of thread. Da -di -da -da -di -da -da. Right. right. Think okay. that just careening down. would have been that F at the bottom that you just arrived at, that soft F, you know, because now you've got to get bigger for the crescendo, a little bit of a crescendo. You landed on da da -de da less and more, most. And most. So, was that it? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Make them nice and spaced. Bum, bum, and fall down. Now, what are the, the main notes here? Let's see what they are. Here. That would be the main notes. Yeah. Da -de -da -da. See? It's, it's a sequence. A sequence. You're coming, you're, you're, you're sequencing what? Up or down? You're sequencing down, right? From what you just did. Yeah. melodic note is D E. You play those agogic accent, I, I hate to word, use the word accent, say agogic. It simply means you delay a little, you get the F, 
you get the, see I come from below. Why do I come from below? Because I don't want to get a pencil point accent on those notes. A them a little, relax your arm, and play them a little from below as I'm doing. See, from a, this way and this way. With the wrist motion, yeah, you have to have a follow through with your arm and wrist. It's like you're suspending your arm on the five. You're so loose throughout your arm spectrum. There is a propensity to take an agogic accent, which is on a syncopated part of the measure, and make it sound like it's jazzy when we don't want that to happen. Because we just want to delay. Okay. It's delayed. Delay it. Dominant. You also look at the harmony. You know, the harmonic rhythm is big in this one. What harmonies are occurring through the broken chords? If you were blocking the beginning, you would just go, you just do this. And then you block these two, these two. And you just block three notes, block three notes, and then two. Very, very obvious, you know. And then if, if beginning of measure three, would you block? Well, yeah, you, you could block in twos if you want. You could start with just doing this. Well, actually, what I would do is I would do an overlapping block. Here's 5-4, then I do 5-2. See why I'm overlapping them? Then I do 2-4, then I do 4-1. See, I'm overlapping the blocks because I want to see where everything is going between each interval. See, I'm doing this, and I'm doing this, and I'm doing this. I'm making extra blocks. Here I have one block, right? Because that's what it is. It's a what, D minor chord in first inversion. I'm in the third measure. Okay, so that's what, okay, so ways to block. You could just block big blocks like this. Yeah, you can block three notes if you want. You can, because you're coming, you're doing that, right? You can do that, make it easy on yourself. You just do those three notes. And then, then you can block the next three notes. And then you're left with these two notes. That's the simplest thing to do. And then you have four notes. See, and then I would do rhythms. Rhythms are important because it shows you where your thumb's going. Where your thumb's going here between E and F, you have to know that your thumb's shifting just a half step up. Here I wouldn't do any rhythm, but for the 16s, because you know what's hard? These shifting thumbs like this. See what I'm doing? But I have a million videos on all these blocking stuff. I the blocking is what's the problem here I, I and I don't think there's much of a problem I'm just thinking you have to think of the melody going through some of these broken chords so you don't get notiness so you don't get that that's all I'm saying you really have to be very rhythmically on point Do, de, do, do. look how slow but everything is has bound by rhythm by, by rhythm B G D and falls down pa, da, da, pa, rhythm pa, da, da, pa, less. measure three in measure three this is all slurred all slurred to the F but the F comes out short okay and then and then where's the next slur line? That's the one I can't see where it starts, right on the A. It's all slurred across. See, all slurred across to the short note. And these are all short, right? And then this is slurred across to the short note. And then she got lift. Yeah, because you're breaking. Now, I noticed you didn't lift always here when you first started. So you're breaking between the eighth notes. The eighth notes are always going to be having a detached break. All the eighth notes are detached in this piece. Wait, look at the harmony. This is tonic. This is a passing dominant resolve. Don't make that A loud. The gothic note comes out. You're springboarding into less. This, just watch. Resolve. Lift your hand. Watch. 
Watch, this is important. Separate, because that's what you did upstairs. Remember how we... You see what I'm doing? I, you see where the slurs occur? You can't go across the slurs and change it. It's going to flesh out a melodic or counter melodic counter in the left hand. And I think rhythms really help because it throws. is the right fingering through any block. This is tricky. Done. 